हेलो बच्चो लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज डेट आ स्टोन ऑफ मार्क्स वन के जी इज टाइड टू एंड ऑफ मार्क्सलेस स्ट्रिंग ऑफ लेंथ वन मीटर इफ द ब्रेकिंग टेंशन ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग इज फोर हंड्रेड न्यूटन देन द मैक्सिमम लिनियर वेलोसिटी द स्टोन कैन हैव विदाउट ब्रेकिंग द स्ट्रिंग वाइल रोटेटिंग इन हॉरिजोंटल प्लेन इज सो वी विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी वट विल बी दी कंसेप्ट टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन the key concept that will be used to solve this question will be centrifugal force centrifugal force acts radially outward radially outward and this centrifugal force is given by fc is equal to mv square by r Where R is the radius of the circular motion, V is the velocity, and m is the mass of the particle. Now we have been given that a stone of mass one kg is tied to end of a massless string of length one meter. So this is the string one meter, and this is the stone of mass one kg. This is tied. Now It is rotating in horizontal plane, and this is the horizontal plane in which this stone is rotating. So this is a horizontal circle. This will be the horizontal circle. There is there will be a tension in the string. That is the breaking tension in the string is four hundred newton, and we have to find the maximum linear velocity that. The stone can have without breaking the string. So, if we see the free body diagram of the string, sorry, free body diagram of the stone. So this will be one kg of the stone, and here tension will act. Now suppose this angle is theta, that is the angle at which string is with the vertical is theta. So this angle will also be theta. This will also be theta. This is theta, and here radially outward centrifugal force will act. That is m v square by r downward. We have weight of the stone. That is m g, and we will take the component of tension. So in vertical direction, it will be t cos theta, and in horizontal direction, t sin theta. now the stone head we have to find the maximum linear velocity that is there is no acceleration so balancing forces in both direction horizontal and vertical direction we will have t cos theta is equal to mg and t sin theta is equal to mv square by r so B square by R, R will be equal to the length of the string. R will be equal to one meter. That is L square, and we will have B square. B will be equal to. We have to find the B, and then T will be equal to maximum breaking tension. We will use to find the maximum linear velocity, and M is also one kg. So. We will use the value, so we will have t cos theta is equal to one into g is ten, or t cos theta is equal to ten. This is equation one. Now we have t is equal to four hundred newton, so T cos theta is equal to ten. That is four hundred cos theta is equal to ten. So cos theta will be equal to one by forty. So sine theta will be equal to root over fifteen ninety nine by forty. So from here we will put this value in this equation. So we will have four hundred. Into root over fifteen ninety nine by forty. That is equal to 
m v square by r that is 1 into v square by r is 1 meter so this will be v square will be equal to 10 into root over 15 99 now root over 1599 that is equal to 39.98 so b square will be equal to 10 into 39.98 that is equal to 399.8 which is approximately equal to 400 so b square will be equal to 400 approximately equal to 400 so b will be approximately equal to 20 meter per second so this is the maximum linear velocity that can be achieved so the correct option will be option a 20 meter per second hope you all understood it well best of luck